Ah, let's talk about Star Wars The Return of the Jedi Defective Disc. It's really, really pissing me off now. It really, really is. The amount of defective discs I've got from Blu-ray and 4K. Actually, it's been more from 4K the last several months. Well, let's start off with the fact that I don't really count um, Game of Thrones because it had a problem before I bought it. So I understood why it happened with that. And um, that was, it's a good thing I checked all the discs or else who knows what, what would have happened. Um, but that still counts a little. Now, Star Wars lost 40 seconds of the movie. And it wasn't, like, in the credits. If, if, if it malfunctions in the credits, who gives a shit? I'm pretty sure you can see the credits online or somewhere else. So you don't really need the credits. But it malfunctioned in two parts in the movie. Let me look it up right here. I have it on here. I wrote it down exactly what happened. Maybe it's similar with other people. 57 minutes in, for an, you lost about 15 seconds, and then a minute, I mean an hour and seven minutes in. So, that, it was a pain, some people say, oh, it's not a big deal, it's, it's just a little bit of time, it's a movie, you don't buy a movie so it doesn't work. Now, if it was maybe a half a second or a second, and you didn't really miss anything, fine. But there's some dialogue you don't catch, because it skips right over it. Now, I tried it in two diff different players. I'm, luckily, I have two 4K players. One's hooked up to a 1080p TV. And you're going to say, why do you have two? Well, at the time, I decided I, I wanted the one down here, but I didn't think it was good enough. And um, come to find it out, I probably wouldn't have had it. But a actually, I, I wanted the Samsung one. I wanted something a little more advanced. So if I ever did get, it, say, another TV in the future and that still worked, it would, it would pay... It would definitely pay off. So I have a second one upstairs that runs Blu-rays and stuff. But you remember, even if it's not on a 4K television, you can still put the 4K disc in, and it'll just play at um, 1080p resolution. But it'll still play as if it was the other movie. So I tested it, and come to find it out, there was a glitch on there too. Not the same glitch, though. Going to remember, every play has a different laser lens depending if it's clean or it's dirty or whatever the hell it is. Um, I had a glitch, too, on the other one at the exact same spot. So very disappointing, especially for our, um, especially for the for Star Wars. I, I thought that they wouldn't screw up like this, but there's always a defective disc now and then. And Sally's happened to me a lot. You know, what's funny is I haven't had many problems with the defects in DVDs other than the... Um, Everyone loves Raymond. <laughs> Maybe that's not true. But that was different. The whole disc was gone. I can't, and nobody tested it. Because if someone had tested that at um, Newberry Comics, they would have realized it didn't work. They just looked at the bottom of the disc. It looks completely clean, and then they put it back in. That's how they determine. That's why you should never buy any movies and stuff from them. I have in the past, but um, you're always taking a risk. So, um... That's all you can do is to go out and buy another disc. Money people don't have that opportunity. That's what aggravates me. What if somebody just saved up enough money to buy the Star Wars Return of the Jedi in 4K just so it doesn't work? It skips over like 40 seconds. Uh, it has all kind of problems on the disc. Who the hell wants to deal with that? And I, I, that's one of my main complaints. Who the hell wants to deal with it? It should never happen in the first place. It does come on a Blu-ray, so if you've never bought the movies in HD, HD before, you can still watch the Blu-ray. But you bought the 4K, so you should be able to watch the 4K. It absolutely aggravates me what these people have been doing to people. Awful. Absolutely awful. And I think, you know, someone should be held accountable for it. The sad part is a lot of people get these movies for a gift, or they get them... It, they get them and they wait months before they go to watch them. So movies nowadays, if they're, if they're complete sets, you have no choice because you never finish it in time. You're not going to go through the method of checking every disc like I did for Game of Thrones. But um, if it's a single movie, I recommend you watch that movie as soon as possible to make sure that the disc works correctly so you can take it back. Because if not, you're screwed. And a lot of times it is screwed anyways because it might be sold out and they'll never give you another copy. 
But good luck with defective discs. That's another disc to add to it. You know what? I said, from having such a massive collection, this is probably only not even 25% of what I have behind me. I'll tell you that um, I'm going to find a lot of defects in the near future. It's just, as long as I don't know I have them yet, I don't have to worry about them. All right. Bye-bye.